Hey guys, how's it going? I want to thank you for watching. You are watching Out and About in Our Country Life. I hope your day is going good and I hope you're feeling good. I'm feeling really good today and very happy. We got the other swather going. I'm running the 400 versatile today and over there is my brother-in-law running the 8820 case. I am so blessed to have the in-laws that I have. My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law came out today. It's the weekend, Saturday. And they came out, offered to watch the girls, and my brother-in-law offered to jump in the swather and help us knock down the wheat. We got from there over to there. And we are done with this field, guys. There he goes. I'll zoom in on him. He's swathing there. And I, I am very fortunate to have the in-laws that I have. Yesterday, which was Friday, my mother-in-law and my wife's grandma came out and they watched the girls. So my wife could be out in the rake. And they did some baking and cleaned some house. And it was really nice. So yeah, we are uh, very fortunate to have them. And uh, yeah, what can I say? I'm my brother-in-law would do anything. He would turn rocks over for me if he had to. And I really appreciate him as a brother-in-law. He's a carpenter by trade. Anytime he, I need help. I got the problem with the ankle like I do. He comes out and he offers to lend a hand here at the farm. And I'm very, very lucky to have him. I'm very lucky to have the in-laws that I got. I mean, I got three brother-in-laws, counting the one that's running the swath that they're, they're all awesome. But this one here that's running the swath, he, he always lends me a hand. When I get myself into situations like this. <laughs> I got the old foot up on the pillow here and got it up on the railing, trying to keep it elevated, to get the swelling down. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know, you know, I hope you guys all got family like I do because I love my family. I love my in-laws. Like I said, Friday, my mother-in-law and my wife's grandma came out watched the girls, cleaned house, did some baking, made some dishes of food that we could put in the freezer so we have extra food. Because when we get in, when my wife gets in and I get in, we have a babysitter also during the week, a neighbor girl. But we want to kind of give her weekends off so she can, and she's, she's 14 years old, nice, nice lady, neighbor. Very fortunate to have her watch the girls also, but on the weekends we didn't want to bother her if we if we can help it, and that's when my wife's family comes, me up my in-laws, and uh, like I said, Friday my mother-in-law and grandma came, and today my mother-in-law came back. Oh, guys, she lives about 50 mile, 57 miles away from us. So does my brother-in-law here. He lives 57 miles away from us. And I mean, it'd be easy for him to say, you know, sorry, we're busy this week and we work all week long, you know, and we would find some other alternatives. But my brother in law called me here on Thursday and he said, How's the foot? And I said, It's getting better, I think. And he said, well, You gotta be careful with that foot. And I'm like, Don't screw it up. And I said, Well, you're busy. And I told him, Yeah, of course we are. And, well, what can I do this week? And he just offered me. I didn't ask. If I would have asked you to come, <laughs> I don't want to bother him because I know they're busy too. But he offered and I was so blessed. I mean, I, I can't thank him enough. And I can't thank my sister-in-law enough for coming. They got a job during the week, guys. Like I said, my brother-in-law's a carpenter. My sister-in-law's a secretary. They're busy all week and then they take time in the weekend to come and join our operation and help us get things done. I mean, it's just amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys got family like that too. I mean, without family, you have nothing. That's just the way it is. I mean, if you have no family, friends are friends. I mean, don't get me wrong. But friends come.
come and go, family stays forever. And I'm very fortunate to marry into the family that I did. And I hope all you guys out there feel the same way. Not saying you don't always not get along, but without family, it would be hard not to. It'd be hard to go through life without family. That's what I'm saying. And so yeah, I'll get you up to date, guys. But from there, I'm on this side. I'm on the south side. My brother-in-law is on the north side. It's about six o'clock Saturday night, and if both swathers hold together, we will get it done. Uh, shout out to my neighbor. Yesterday, I, if you see that video. I said the neighbor's trying to get the other swather going. He had a little trouble, but he did not give up on it, guys. He did get it running. And it was a roller right down there. You see that that uh, round piece through that belt? It was the roller. The roller was shot. The bearings were out. We had to get a roller and bearings today. Thank goodness we got a local farmer's union that was open six miles from us. They had the parts, hats off to them. They do a heck of a job carrying parts. Just a little farmer's union and they got lots of parts. So our hats off to them, thank them for having the parts we needed for this 400 versatile swather so we could get this thing going and we will get this wheat done today, guys. So I wanna thank the neighbor for getting that taken care of. He didn't give up and he found the problem and took a little more time than what we wanted, but. It got fixed, had the parts in our local farmer's union, and that was a great Saturday morning to get the parts and get it together. We got going about 11 o'clock. This is 160 acres. We got going about 11 o'clock by the time we got this water that I'm sitting on here going. I cut a little bit yesterday with the other swather. By 11 o'clock, we cranked up both swathers, had them both maintenance, had them both going, and yeah, by 7.30, if everything goes together, guys, this field will be done. So I want to thank my neighbor for being the mechanic that he is. He does a well, wonderful job. So, I'll get you up to speed. My wife is raking, the neighbor's bailing, my mom's stacking bales. Dad did, mom and dad did get the heifers out yesterday, which would have been Friday afternoon and today. They got the heifers moved into pasture. They're happy, I hope. And mom went out stacking bales. Dad's just servicing out some irrigations. So we're all busy here, guys. And like I said, I it's gonna be a good day today. I, you know, a lot of times you say, oh, you shouldn't work a weekend, but in our line of work, I guess every day is another day and you just keep on striving because if a we got a windstorm and that wheat got hailed out or the wind knocked it down, that is done. I mean, we, we lost everything we worked so hard for, guys. And all it would take is a storm tonight. And that, what you see standing, would be laying flat. And that would be... A really sad situation for us to come out tomorrow morning and see that lane flat the reason we did not come in here a straight hitter guys like I said it got hail the, the some of the heads are just hanging on we're afraid that we would have lost a crop if we came in here with the straight headers waited so we knocked her down with the swathers it's gonna be good guys it's gonna be good so again I want to thank you for watching you guys are great Members, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel out and about our country lake. We're just going, getting going, guys. This is all new to us. I hope you guys are hanging in there with us. Like I said some are probably boring videos and some maybe you like. I hope you like most of them. Send us a comment, guys. Like I said, my, my daughter is eight years old and she enjoys walking, reading your comments that you guys send us. We all enjoy reading them, but she really gets it a smile on her face when somebody shoots us a comment of how they like whatever video they watched at that time. So give us a thumbs up, shoot us a comment, subscribe to our channel guys and I want to thank you for watching. I'll leave you at that. Remember, stay safe.